Hello everybody, I am more than wise and this is Windbound once again. In the last episode, I died stupidly and figured out that dying actually resets the them keys that I've been going after. So there's that. I also gotta throw my boat off the shore. Ooh, I can throw it while standing on it. That doesn't that completely defies the laws of physics, but I ain't complaining. It works out, works well for me right here in this very moment. Now I just need to unwedge myself from here. Come on, boat. Work with me here. Don't be all up on the rocks. We don't need a rock boat. We need a boat boat. All the rocks are bad for the boat. So, there we go. We are free. Freedom we have found. Now, keys. There ain't no keys on that island, though there was a gloom harrow that I fought in the last episode. I got its jaw. But I need me some leather if I'm gonna go making that into a axe. Then I can start chopping down trees and making a, a even better boat. A even better boat is better than the boat I got now. It's all made of bamboo, something made of legitimate wood, like some mighty oak. That would be a boat to be proud of. And this little island right here. I think there's something on it. Yeah, I see some glowy on there, on that little rock there. What you hide, island? Tell me your secrets! You can't hide no secrets from me! I'll jump off my boat and let it go blasting off without me. Why, now why wouldn't I? Give me your stuff. And... Sea shards. 350 sea shards. That's definitely worth abandoning my boat and getting stranded here like a dumbass. Now, let's just see here. This island over here might have a key on it. Yeah. Ha! Stupid! You missed my boat! You thought you could just latch onto it and start breaking shit. I don't think so. Now, right here, now that I get a look at this place, it seems fairly empty. A distinct lack of key happening on this island. Hmm. That will not do. Not at all. But that won't stop me from grabbing sticks and shit. What's this? What did I find? It's, oh, it's a pumpkin. And the pumpkin gives me a sea witch's vestment of undying. The enchantment woven into these robes allows Kara to respawn nearby after dying once per session. Neat. That sounds incredibly useful. Really could have used that in the last episode when I died like a big stupid pants. There you go. Make me some leather, Mr. Fire. I'm short on leather. That much I know. Maybe I got more skin back here on my boat to, with which to make even more leather. Show me what you got, bag. You got some thread and sticks and grass and bones and spectral residue. Thought I had more skin just sitting around. This tiny island with no animals with which to murder. Not exactly the best place to go setting this shit up. Leather needs to hurry the hell up and get done being made. There it is. Give me that damn leather. And now I can make me an axe. That's some nice shit there. And once I go chopping this tree down, I'll unlock some things that I can make with the wood. Now, let me ask you a question. That is a very small axe. I thought it would be bigger than that. Wood. 
a heavy-duty construction material. The seed knew what it wanted to be. It dreamed of strong limbs and ornate structures. And I can make a gloom harrow figurehead and a wooden mast and a hunter bow. Speaking of bow, do I actually need a plain stalker horn to go making that because I died trying to get one of those? No, I can just make some silk thread. That's nice. Oh, I can fucking make a torment bow using just a stick, that gem, and grass. Some grass rope. Really probably should have looked at that recipe before I started going after that plain stalker. That was my big mistake there. Anywho, I can make me a legitimate bow instead of having to rely on this stupid little sling I've been carrying around. Now, give me that thread. And we have a bow. So, can I, yeah, I can make basic arrows out of sticks. Real nice. I'll make some of those too. Yes, yes, I know about all know all about arrows. Now let me just make some more of them instead of yanking me out of the crafting position. There we go. I got my bow made, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on over my sling, and. Now I'm just gonna go back to sailing. That's all I can do is sail away and hope I find what I'm looking for before I starve to death. Oh dear, you latched onto my boat. Now you need to die. I need to go grab that schmeat though. Me likey meat. It is good. Now, all right, got that schmeat. Now I better get to my boat before I start drowning. My stamina is running low, but I do have that blessing that lets me swim faster. There's a reason I picked that up. It's because I wanted to swim faster. Oof, I getting real hungry now. But there's an island here. With a little luck, I'll find some mushrooms growing that I can go cramming into my throat. Oh, there is one of those key towers there. Say, this isn't the same island I died on before, is it? I don't like the idea of going back to the same place I died before. But I kind of have to because there was a key on that island. There's a key on this island. So therefore... They are the same island. Even if they are different, they are still the same. No matter how you look at it, you know I'm right. Even if I am horribly wrong, I'll never admit it. I'll just blame you for making me wrong. And then I'll have to slap you real good. And you don't want to get slapped real good, do you? So don't go making me wrong. I ain't no wrong boy. I'm always right. No matter how wrong I may be. And whenever I am wrong, it's someone else's fault. There we go. Nice, solid beach. And there's one of those blink guys. Now, here you go. This ought to be easier to aim than my sling. And take that! Oh yeah. Oh, holding that bow drawn. That eats up stamina. Can I get my arrow back out of ya? Yes, yes I can. I also got some meaty meat. Now I need something that I can eat that isn't this because this doesn't restore me hunger. That just cures me of the purple that happens. And in case you haven't noticed... I ain't all purple. I have not been purpled yet today. And as much as I'd like to avoid getting purpled, it may just happen. Don't need none of them magical ingredients. I need something that'll actually fill my tum-tum. Like that meat that I picked up. 
but something that doesn't need a cooking. Like a mushroom, perhaps. Hold on a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a second, for some reason, I thought this was the island that I started the episode on, even though I know for a fact the island that I did start the episode on doesn't got no key, and I did see a key tower as I was coming in here, so... Yeah, fuck me, I'm an idiot. I love waiting for meat to cook while the smoke from my campfire suffocates me. Mmm. Smells like carbon monoxide. I am able to make a wooden hull now. A little more wood. And then I could... I'm thinking I could make two hulls and connect them with a deck. Much like the boat we seen her sailing in the opening cutscene just before shit went bad. That might be better than this wacky ass thing I got here. Just one hull with a deck sitting on top of it. Anyway, give me that meat. I am very, very hungry. There we go. And now you can cook up. While I go look for that key, which is in this direction, I think. Yeah, that's the... that's what the map's telling me, anyway. Very nice that that appears on the map for me like that. Why can't I cut this piece of tree off right here? It's thin enough that I could chop it with my itty-bitty little axe. But it's just not choppable. Taint chopping, apparently. Ooh, berries. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. That feels better. Me less hungry now. Not as filling as a slab o' meat, but still. Any port in a storm, wouldn't you say? There's that tower. Give me that fucking grass. I likes me some good grass. Yes, I does. Now, let me just grab this fucking key that I should already have, but I done lost it because I died to a plain stalker like a big ol' stupid pants. And... Gimme. There you go. That's a key right there. All up inside of my chest thingy. What once was sacred is now prey. Allies become enemies forever. Yeah, yeah, you told me this dialogue before. I found this key before. But as I said, I done died. And it just weren't in my pocket no more. Anyway, let's get back to the boat. I need to keep my meat situation flowing. I need to have a nice full tummy before I go sailing away again. Delicious! I'm feeling the meaty goodness all inside of my bones. And we still got one morsel left to cook. But anyway... I'm all out of time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye.